Hi, this is Andy Nathan with AndyNathan.net, and today is Guru Gushers. I know you're shocked by the intro to this video. What we're going to be talking about today is a really cool program. It's called Meeting Burner, and Meeting Burner is a webinar system, really easy to use, has some great features, and just to give you an idea here, there's some pro and there's some free versions here. As I'm showing you here the features right now. And there is a link going across the bottom of the screen. Just a, a note, it is an affiliate link, but there's a free version. The benefit of Meeting Burner is that for the free people, you could have a webinar of up to 10 people, no cost. For those of you who have up to 50, it's $40 a month. Up to 1000 it's $100 a month. So that's pretty good rates if you compare that to something like uh, GoToWebinar or GoToMeeting, WebEx, places like that, the major software, and it does pretty much everything. It's a really simple to use system as we'll see in a few minutes. And just want to let you know here, so these are all the features. You can just go sign up at the bottom. And I'm going to go log in and uh, I have the Meeting Burner Pro. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use this. So I thought I was logged in. Let's try that again. Here we go. So I'm logged in. Now, I first of all, I want to show you how to schedule a meeting. And then we're going to go to the meet right now because I want to show you how to schedule it. Then we'll show you how, the, how it works if you want to just do a meeting. That being said, we go to schedule a meeting. And I actually have a blog traffic mafia coming up. Uh, that's a membership that I run. Blog traffic membership. And what we're going to do is webinar, it's a Q&A webinar. Learning how to spell all over again is excellent. Q&A webinar. And, oh, I was going to say for members only. And I'm going to hit next step. And then in addition to that, what's the date and time? I'm going to do this this Thursday. So I'm going to just schedule in here the 18th. And I'm going to do this at 7. I'm doing this at 7 p.m. Central. And so let's go here and then go in 8 o'clock. And it's all set. See how it's already set to U.S. Canada Central. We're going to click Next Step. And then it gives me the audio options. I have a dial in phone number. This is my moderator pin, this is the attendee pin. And then what we're going to do is going to click next step. And it says your meeting's been scheduled. That's pretty darn quick. So if this was a public meeting, I could share it on Facebook. I could tweet it. I could email it. However, since this is a private one, I'm going to send this out separately. And there's even a meeting ID and a meeting link for this. And what I'm going to really do is I'm going to just send this out through a Weber to everyone who's a member of the Blog Traffic membership continue to configure the meeting if I want to. I really don't need to. I could also add this to Outlook or iCal if you have, I don't have a Mac, so but I could add this to Outlook and then I'm going to just close the window because what I want to do is I want to show you how it looks and see it's right here for me to actually go in here, start, test, manage. I'm going to just do meet right now to show you actually what a live meeting of meeting burner looks like and I'm just going to put in here test and as you can see here, it gives me all the phone numbers that I need for this new meeting. And all I, I can invite people right now if I want to. So here, let me show you what that looks like. I could take the link, send it out to people, email it to people, do whatever I need to do, and they have all the information right here. I'm going to go to start your meeting so you can actually see what the meetings look like. And when you actually go into a meeting, which should happen any moment now. Here we go. First thing you're going to see, you actually can't see that. Hold on. I'm moving everything over. Sorry. I want to make sure you guys can see this. Generally, we don't have people don't have to see this far over on the screen. And what I'm going to do is I could see on the left hand side, I could see that I'm the host. I could see all the, the information about the meeting itself. So if I need to send over the dial in information, you could even do this call using Skype. I generally don't recommend that because a lot of people want to do a screen sharing and if I want to do screen sharing for example I have to save the file for some reason it does it never saves this for me 
So I always have to redo it again, but that's okay. See how that's like 13 on my meeting burner list. And I'm sure there's more than that. And I go in here and I can go open. So it loads in the Java. And what will happen is I could do the screen sharing. While we're waiting, you can see all the information is right here for the entire meeting. So everyone has everything at your fingertips. You don't have to worry about it. They even have a copy to URL the clipboard button so you can send it in there. And they even say for guest and the host, they could have it. They could use Meeting Burner to just set up a uh, call through Skype. So what I'm going to do instead of sharing my entire screen, I'm going to share custom region so it looks sort of like what we're looking at right now. And I could select the entire region that I want. And so you can see here, I'm going to make this the entire screen versus what I have right now. So you could actually see it. And so see how it's actually a different screen version. Then all I need to do is I go start screen sharing. You are currently sharing your screen. And I can pause it if I want. And I'm going to just put that down there. And I know you can't see this right now, but there's a big green box surrounding my entire screen. And the other thing that you need to do is you can go in, you could record it. It's a stop recording. And you could also do Q&As. So if people do have questions in the chat, you could start taking a look, see what's going on. They do have a chat box down here, but I really, this is a horrible chat feature. I will admit that's probably one of the worst things about the, ch the feature. It's their chat is not that useful. It's hard to use, especially when you're in the middle of a webinar and you're trying to run everything. It just doesn't work smoothly. And that is about it. You know, one last thing before I do end the meeting. You have to record the phone or the Skype call as well separately because it doesn't record the voice and the video with the same. There's a voice recording and then there's a video recording. Make sure when you have the phone call, you record the voice as well as the video. So I'm just telling you this because you don't want to have a hour long webinar with no voice. So that is about it and I'm ending this meeting. And Thank you so much uh, for your time, and I hope you enjoy Meeting Burner. All the Guru Gusher information will be down below. And also, like I said, this is an affiliate product, but there is a free version, so if you're interested, please use that. That's all I ask. Thank you. Have a good day. Andy Nathan from andynathan.net.